Hi guys, good evening, and welcome back once again to The Edward. I'm your host, Eddie, and in today's video, I'll be doing yet again another trailer reaction video. And of course, this is another trailer that has just got, come out of Comic-Con from the past couple of days. I was actually down there yesterday. I went down with some friends, rather at the last minute, a bit unexpected, but we drove down and uh, we spent the whole day down there. We didn't actually go inside the convention center because none of us had badges, but we did walk around and enjoy the outdoor areas right outside the convention center and uh, downtown San Diego, which was quite lovely. But that didn't stop me from checking my phone periodically to see what kind of trailers and updates and news that we were getting. And now I'm so excited to uh, share my thoughts with you guys regarding the trailer that they dropped for the upcoming Star Trek show, Star Trek Picard. It looks great. Oh, it looks so good. And um, I'm glad that we finally have an idea of what it's going to be about finally because it looks like this mysterious young woman makes her way into uh, the presence of uh, Jean-Luc Picard seeking his help and it looks like he puts together a makeshift crew of space explorers not necessarily Starfleet in fact none of them were even wearing Starfleet uniforms or clothing but it looks like uh, you know the adventure continues in space even though uh, it's it, the posters and pictures that we've seen so far have been showing that Jean-Luc is now living a life as a winemaker, presumably in his home village in France, but uh, something obviously is going to call him back to the stars, and they dropped some pretty big bombshells on us in this trailer as well. You know, um, I have actually never seen Star Trek Voyager, but I tend to start binging it so I can get an idea as to who Seven of Nine is, but the actress, Jerry Ryan, who played Seven of Nine in Voyager, will be replaying her role once again in this show, as we saw in the trailer, where she said, what the hell? are you doing here Jean-Luc and so that that was pretty unexpected and awesome kind of like a crossover in a sense between like next gen and Voyager and then uh, of course they also dropped another big bombshell data is alive after all these years for those of you unaware with what happened with data more recently of course I say recently it was almost like 18 years ago or 17 years ago, the last Star Trek Next Generation film or project that uh, graced our screens was Star Trek Nemesis from 2002. In that film, Data uh, played a sacrificial move in order to save uh, Jean-Luc's life, and uh, unfortunately Data was uh, presumably dead or lost forever. But the great thing about androids is that you can rebuild them, and it looks like that's exactly what happens as the final frame of the trailer teases that Data is up in a about alive and well so that's pretty exciting because of all the characters Jean-Luc has one of the best or more interesting relationships with is indeed Data so I'm looking forward to seeing Brent Spiner return to the role that he just absolutely killed all the times that he played him in the, the show Next Generation and then the movies that followed years after so that's exciting and then we also got of course a tease that uh, one of the greatest enemies and one of the most insidious evils of the whole Star Trek franchise, at least arguably, in my opinion, the Borg are coming back. And for those of you unaware, Jean-Luc Picard had a very personal, very scary encounter with the Borg in uh, what is considered to be, I believe, uh, two of the best episodes of the Star Trek The Next Generation, if not the two best episodes, definitely two of like uh, of some of the best episodes that they've ever done. Uh, the Best of Both Worlds Part 1 and 2. Part 1 was the Season 3 finale and Part 2 was the Season 4 premiere. And uh, it's a great watch back to back. They are fun, exciting episodes. And it's about how Starfleet basically becomes the last line of defense for the Federation uh, when uh, Picard is kidnapped by the Borg and they intend to assimilate all life on Earth and it's up to the crew of the Enterprise to stop them. So to see uh, their cube-shaped uh, ship in space was uh, really exciting and unexpected, but also not that surprising because you can't really have a Star Trek show uh, with Picard without the Borg, his greatest uh, enemy. So I'm really excited about that as well. So I'm really intrigued by this. I'm surprised we didn't get a release date or a premiere date for this show, but all they did say is that it would drop on CBS All Access in early 2020. So uh, let's keep our eyes and ears open for a premiere date. In the meantime, let's just rewatch our favorite episodes of Star Trek Next Generation like I'm doing. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this trailer reaction video here on The Edward. I hope you enjoyed the trailer 
spoiler as much as I did. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel to stay up to date on Star Trek Picard and all the other awesome Comic-Con topics I'm about to cover. Thanks again for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your weekend. And of course, until next time, make it so.